All right, that's pretty much the setup. You excited for tonight? Oh, no. <laughs> what up, everybody? What's happening? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to another roadie gig log. I'm gonna be rotating for Blenny D right now. He has a gig. Say what up, Blenny. What up, what up? He's driving and we're with his cousin Kevin. Hey. He's been in the vlogs before. You were like in one of my original yeah, the, vlogs before, the right? Zombie one. The zombie walk. This is his second appearance, but he's been in the vlog before. And uh, check it out. We are in the back, stocked up and ready to go. We got two subs in here. Four highs. Four. You're bringing four highs? Four highs. Holy shit. We also got. Um, the mixer, he's got pioneers as well. Three moving heads, the ones that we were playing with the other day. Plenty figured those out. Uh, two swarms. And he's got two swarms. Yo, this place is gonna be lit up. And we also got um, the mixer, he's got pioneers as well. I'll show you guys in a bit when we get there. What is happening? Whoa, exposure overload. Holy crap, Lenny. How many of you guys roll up to gigs and freaking escalate? <laughs> That's only plenty. Um, this is the hall. I've actually DJed here a couple of times. All right, let's do this. We made great time. Let's go inside and set it up. Check it out. This is the hall. And uh, that's the stage. He's gonna be working with a band, which I'm not a big fan of doing. But hey, a gig's a gig. Blenny went all out, he brought a shitload of equipment, but check it out. We got two, two PRX 718s, PRX 615s. Then we got two EVs, ZLX, what is it, 12s? Also, we got two Chauvet Swarms. We got the moving heads that we were playing around with the other day. The mixer, um, trussing. DMX controller, cables, laptop stand, microphone, and all that good stuff. He's working with a band, so uh, I don't know how he's gonna set it up. Bro, if I were you, I would go straight in the middle, bro. F the band, make them go on the side. Anytime you DJ with a band, the band likes to go center stage, and uh, they always throw the DJ off in a corner. They're gonna throw you off in a corner, bro. <laughs> you don't need lights, bro. They got lighting up there. <laughs> Just turn that on and you're good to go. Right, we, we had to set up in the corner because we don't know where the band is gonna hook up. It's super echoey, so um, he's gonna stick with the two JBLs. We're not using the EVs. Or well, he's not using the EVs. This is the facade. He's got an ADJ facade, American DJ. Damn, you're looking beast with that background, bro. And this is the setup from behind the DJ booth. Got a DJM850, CDJ850, running on Serato, MacBook Pro. I like that laptop stand. Then we got the mini mic boom. Don't forget, I'm doing a giveaway for the mini mic boom. The giveaway is going to be on Instagram, not on YouTube. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram and be sure to tag a friend on this picture that's on my Instagram as well. I'll pick the winner after we hit uh, 3,000 on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram for your chance to win one of these little mini mic booms. We weren't able to hook up the lights because we don't know where the hell the band is gonna set up. We took off a little corner on the side, but uh, I don't know if they're gonna be too happy. Whenever you're DJing with a band, always show up before the band because otherwise they're gonna make your life miserable. Alright, so we've decided to put the lights in the back of the stage because, um, there's really nowhere else to put it. The band is gonna be right here, and we don't know how much space they're gonna take up. The other option was putting it back there in that balcony, but we don't know if people are gonna be up there. And I've DJed here before, and kids usually go mess around and play up there, so I don't think that's the best idea to put it up there. So, uh, back here it is, man. We got the new Intimidators. First show. First show of many. We just unboxed it just now. All 
All right, that's pretty much the setup, all done and set up. Um, this swarm over here on the right, we had to use the clamp for the back one. Blenny's gonna go home and pick one up. That's pretty much it. Good luck, Blenny. Peace out. See you guys later. All right, back home. And uh, that setup took a lot longer to set up than I expected. It's because uh, he had the moving heads and uh, he didn't put them on truss where you can just sit them down on top of the truss. He had to actually mount them on a freaking bar and that took forever. But we got it all set up. Good luck to Blenny. Um, he told me to come later on if I want to. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. I wanna hang out. A little bit tired. In yesterday's mail time video, I forgot to show you guys that I also ordered some Velcro straps from Amazon, link down below by the way. This is a hundred count and um, since today I am off, I'm not doing anything. I'm going to do something that is way long overdue and that is freaking organize my cable. Check it out, I'm using an old Ed Hardy duffel bag for my cords. I have all my XLRs, my orange power cords all in there. Everything is pretty much Velcroed up, but I wanna split things up a little bit differently. I wanna keep my XLRs separate from my NC power cords. So I wanna get a bag that has dividers because this bag doesn't have dividers. I've had this bag since I started DJing. This bag is really, really old. Let me know if you guys know of a good bag to manage cables for DJs or for musicians. I've been looking at a couple on Amazon, but they're pretty expensive. I might have to just bite the bullet and buy one because uh, this is a mess and this is getting on my nerves. Before it wasn't a problem because all I had were power cords and extension cords, but now that I have my own equipment, things are starting to add up with XLR cables, DMX cables, AC power cords, it's just getting out of hand so I definitely got to get something to uh, get these things organized I know some DJs use like big bins from like Walmart I really don't want to do that I like the duffel bag kind of feel so uh, I think I will buy one of those they're like 60 bucks might have to do it to stay organized so yeah that's pretty much it that's how I'm going to spend my Saturday night is at home in my pajamas organizing cables that's the real life of a dj folks <laughs> shout out to all you guys who are booked every single week that's goals right there i'm actually kind of happy that i am off blenny did ask me to go help him out at his gig today but i don't feel like going i'm just tired i need to catch up on some sleep i've been staying up late editing videos and uh it's starting to catch up to me so i'm looking forward to staying at home with my equipment just organizing it so i'm going to end the vlog here guys nothing exciting is going to happen one more thing though before i end the vlog some of you guys were really really worried about the countertop slash table that i use for the thousand degree knife challenge guys don't worry about the countertop that wasn't the actual countertop I actually put a piece of wood on top of my countertop this is my countertop some of you guys got really upset because you guys thought I was ruining the countertop some of you guys thought it was a table but no guys it wasn't a table some of you guys said that it was really nice wood and that's because it was really nice wood guys I am in the wood industry so I have access to all kinds of of wood let me know if you guys are looking for some wood because uh i'll give you the wood what i was cutting on is actually a piece of wood that has since been discontinued so it was just laying around at my job so i brought it home and it's this thing right here see it's some nice hard wood it wasn't a table or a countertop as you guys can see it's a piece of old discontinued wood but all right guys thank you for watching this little roadie vlog this was a true legit roadie log because all i did was went to go hook up some equipment and then i came home and i organized some cables so this was a legit roadie log thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i know it was a little bit chill but hey that's how it is sometimes. If you like this video, please slap a like on it. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new around here, please subscribe for more videos like this one. Actually, my vlogs are usually a little bit more excited. So don't get discouraged to subscribe because this one was a little bit dull. And don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can stay up to date with better videos. All right, guys. Thank you for putting up with my bull. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace. Bye. Adios.